Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Neo Films Tutorials. I'm Neo, and let's get started with the tutorial. Uh, again, based around the CS, based on the CS6 uh, programs, and um, let's start with Photoshop. Okay, so here we're going to start with Photoshop, and what I'm going to show you today is how to get these really cool fonts that's going to make your project stand out. Um, if you're going to have a title of something, if you're not going to make original font yourself, using like uh, you can use Photoshop to come up with some original font. You can use Adobe Illustrator, but they also have some really cool fonts available for you to use. It's simple. Um, as you know, your font gallery, your font library is going to be limited. With uh, with the default, it's going to be about it's going to be about this extensive, maybe down to here that many. I've went ahead and downloaded anywhere from 20 to 30 extra additional font styles and you could do the same and it actually cost me zero dollars and um, how I did that was simply you go to the internet and you type in anything any fonts that you can think of and you type in uh, followed by font so let's say grunge grunge font you want a grunge font you go over here daft font is pretty good um, font space has got to be one of my favorites uh, it gives you a preview plus what it could look like so let's for instance uh, let's check out this one and you just click right right below it there's a download box it's it's uh, completely safe and I've had no problems with with using with downloading them that way and you're going to want to download either the the TTF or the OTF right here this is open type font file or the true type font file and usually it's going to be a TTF um, you want to find that file download it and it downloads automatically to your Photoshop and then after that usually if you have your Photoshop opened um, you might want to start a new or it might not show up so let's try and see if it does show up and if not then what we'll do is we'll shut it down and then re up, reopen it, and that'll allow your program to to read. Um, yep, right here it worked first time. There we go. And you got your cool font right there. I will go into depth later on how to customize these fonts and make them look, you know, really cool. But the black and white version also looks nice. And you can do that with any type of fonts. Um, you can use famous fonts, like uh, for instance, um, you can download like a Pepsi font. Pepsi font, just type whatever font you can think of, cursive font, uh, fancy font, anything like that. And you see here you got the uh, Pepsi, and this is a reliable source as well. You go straight across, you don't click on this one, download font, that's going to send you somewhere else. You can see how it's underneath this add choice, and that indicates that this is a, a fourth, fifth party source, not even third party, it's not associated with this right here. Uh, maybe yeah, a third party source to this page. You want to click on this download right across the way. Highlight on it. Make sure it's in the realms of this. And it's off. We're going to download the TFF. Once we get that, if you're off, if you're using Google Chrome, at the bottom you get your downloads all on the line. It shows up at the bottom of the page. You click on it. You click install. And there you go. You have Pepsi font. And there's no copyright infringement laws or anything like that. And then. Um, yeah, you can have some fun with that stuff. I have uh, right here, I have uh, already on my, um, I have downloaded right here, the Hollywood sign, the Hollywood sign font, and it's actually not under H, it's under S, S, F, Hollywood, sign I got a lot a lot of fonts so it's going to take a minute and once you start to accumulate them you're just going to have to have patience and keep track of what you're downloading and, and review them and you're just actually going to have a lot of fun going through all the fonts that you got and um, so definitely definitely it's definitely worth downloading it's completely free you see you can have a lot of fun with it and there you see that's the Hollywood sign uh, font and if you type in you'll see how it was originally supposed to look right there and have a lot of fun with it um, type in if you're having any problems with finding any fonts and you need my help 
please send a comment uh, ask me any questions that you have please subscribe if I was any help today and um, definitely look forward to more of my tutorials um, and yeah have a good day